Hi, below one of my videos, uh, the user named Phil Roth uh, made a suggestion that I should create a video about how to connect PG Admin into remote uh, Superbase uh, instance. So maybe you know, maybe you don't know, but so far I created two videos about how to connect both PG Admin and PSQL into local Superbase instance. But right now I think that it's time also to create uh, this video, but for remote Superbase instance. So uh, for this, you need your Superbase instance, remote Superbase instance. In my case, I created this very creative uh, project named test and it's completely new. So I don't made any changes here. And of course you need PG admin for let me open it. Uh, okay, so now you want to connect this PG admin into into your um, Superbase. So to do it, you need to click the right uh, button on your mouse, register server, and now uh, put some name. In my case, it's gonna be remote Superbase. You can put whatever you want, it's, it's not important. Uh, but what is important here is to go into connections. And now you need to fill all of these fields. So, uh, host. Host, you can find this information about host uh, here in project settings. And uh, let me go into database. And as you can see here, you have your host. Uh, you can also find this host, for example, if for some reason uh, this 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 table is not gonna be visible, uh, maybe this one is gonna be visible and you can click on PSQL and get host from, from here. But right now we have this very easy uh, dashboard with all of the information which we need. So host, AWS, as you can see, something, 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 dot superbase.com, click copy, paste it here, uh, port, port is 5432, uh, so it's the default one, if you remember for the local uh, instance, uh, we had to add this 2 on the end, but for remote one, this this default one is, is the good one, so no changes here. Uh, database, database name Postgres, as you can see Postgres, so still nothing here. Uh, here, username, this is gonna be tricky. Username is not Postgres, username is Postgres dot something something something. And uh, for every project this one is different. So as you can see, uh, this is the special UID uh, which I had from for, for my project. And you have something else, something different. So just you need to open this project settings database and copy whatever you, you've got here. So let me copy my uh, and password. Password, uh, password uh, you probably set something when you were creating your Superbase instance. So I don't know if you remember, but uh, when you are creating the, the project, here on superbase.com, you have this field with uh, Postgres username. And you probably clicked generate password button. Uh, I, I, do, I did that, maybe you don't. You can of course put something uh, your, uh, whatever you want there, but it needs to be strong. So most of uh, most of the user just, just, just clicks this generate password and you need to save it somewhere. So in my case, I prepared my password. Um, okay, let me open it. And uh, in case if you don't know your password, so you forget or you just, I don't know, maybe the, the place where you save this password is no longer available for you, uh, you can restart your password, reset database password. So this is also an option. Okay. So we have uh, everything what we need right now. 
you can save your password if you want right now i'm not gonna do it because you know i'm gonna delete this uh, project after this video i don't want any one of you to connect here <laughs> i probably don't know password but uh, still I'm, I'm i'm just gonna delete this project go next saving as you can see remote super base let me go to schemas all of the schemas here uh, public is for us the most important tables and tables are empty and to show you that everything is working let me go to uh, table editor let's create uh, some table and let's call it cuts because i like cuts uh, and uh, now what now i think here just save Okay, and now let's once again go to this uh, PG admin, click refresh, once again maybe refresh, uh, Postgres schemas uh, public cuts. So as you can see, everything is working. It should work. It should work. So uh, right now you should be able to connect your PSQL no, PSQL, PG admin, sorry. PG admin into your remote Superbase instance. And in case if something is not working, just leave a comment below and I'm gonna try to, to answer it and help you. And yeah, I think that's all for this video. Good luck, have fun and see you soon.